Well, I have a good problem. I've run out of holes to put 4x4s in, so let's drill some more. Start one over here, and then drill five across here, and then up there we'll drill two for the, well, might not get around to this video, but we'll drill two for the garage doors. They'll be side hinged ones. So I got these holes made. They're not finished, they're still going down, no, hitting some really hard clay. So I have them filled with water so that they can be easier to dig. And now, me and my mom are gonna try to concrete a few of these posts in. See how many we can get done. So this one is the one that we just concreted in last night. And then these three, are the ones in the middle and this lower one is one in the back so i think these ones we need to bring up by two or three inches and the last one we need to bring up about six inches Go up by three and a half inches. Okay. Two buckets. Actually, it was no one at a time. The cat trap has worked. <laughs> oh. So I took a week break from filming so I could focus on the holes because this past week was just horrible, hot, humid weather. And I could only work for like maybe 45 minutes at a time before I'd really get overheated. And anytime you film something, it increases the tediousness and the difficulty and increases the chance of you giving up on the project. So I took a break from that and just focused on the, digging the holes and it actually went really well. And I think I got a pretty good amount of progress done. And the holes are mostly done. So I got these five holes down to their required depth. And now I'm just widening them. This one looks like someone backfilled this with like gravel and sand. So this one's been widening on its own. But this one I had to widen. And that one's perfectly sized. Might take a little bit of dirt out from underneath that. This one still needs a widening. But honestly, widening these is so much easier than drawing it the first time because this hard clay that I'm hitting it's it takes me like an entire day just to get down like one inch or two and so the only method I've found that really helps is over here when I hit the clay I fill it with water and it turns it to kind of mud but the problem is over here whatever clay this was is like it's like that hard gray clay it was not absorbing water. I had water in here for like five days and it would not get it. So I ended up having to just to break it out via brute force. But man, so that kind of makes me happy about this corner. I was afraid that this sand would be too weak, but it's only on the outside. And so actually the, what the boards will be sitting on is super, super hard. So that's a good foundation. These two still need to be expanded. Oh, and I had an, uh, I, I made a problem with this. So for some reason, the shed is 15 feet wide and I had it stuck in my head that the posts are eight feet across. Well, on the, on the walls are eight feet across, but on the back there's seven and a half feet across because it's half of 15 feet. And so I'm, I'm not gonna be able to use that for mounting the post to. And instead I have that hole drilled. I just finished it, but Unfortunately, I hit a big piece of metal down there. So there's like this big piece of angle iron about two and a half feet down. And 
I'd have to dig up this in our area just to pull that up and it's like a really thick piece of metal so I'm just gonna set the two by the, the four by four on top of that and call it a day I mean after all these bits of concrete only go down like a foot and a half and they haven't been heaved up by frost yet so that's good so I have to widen those holes my mom's coming out to help me with the cementing and then these holes I still have to get down they're only about two feet deep I'll get those down to four or three and a half feet and then widen them and these will be the posts for the side hinge doors I'm gonna get working on the concrete yep this is like the port right yeah so the the the, the doors are gonna be right here hinged from that pole right and that pole this will be concrete maybe I'm not sure yeah. or brick it. We'll figure it out. So we didn't have enough concrete to fully fill in these holes and so some dirt filled these in and put water in there first. And hopefully we can help that mix up with the concrete so it won't be such a layer of dirt. Mud. Dang it. So close. Price. Yeah. So I've already widened this hole, but I need to widen it through this concrete because the post is gonna rub up right against where this is. Oh, it goes deeper than I thought. Might be a cinder block, it's hard to tell. Yep, it's a cinder block. That makes more sense now. That is so weird. Physics did not seem to work how I thought it would. It was actually really easy to put it in that way. So holding it and then just put it in without touching the sides. That's so weird that I actually actually hold it like that. Whenever I'm holding it like this, I have a hard time. You learn something every day, I guess. Weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense though, because 
I'm not like trying to pick it up like so. Oh wait, holy shit. That actually works. Well, hey, I guess just put it down to the science of posture because I, I guess lifting with your legs isn't as easy. But when you're walking away, your feet are further apart anyway, so maybe that helps. Because otherwise, to get the balance, you got to be like that. I mean, it's easy to get stuck in the thought of like, oh, I'm human. I know the, the best posture for a particular challenge. But sometimes you don't. Weird. So progress has been kind of slow because my mother keeps insisting on helping me and she has a tendency to actually delay me when she does that. Like for instance, halfway through last week she was like, let's not do any more pulls this week. I'll help you on the weekend. Well, she got sick on the weekend and she kept being like, oh hey, I'll help you tomorrow. Let's not do anything to it today. I'll help you tomorrow. And it's like, you know what, it's been a week and a half of that. I'm just gonna, like, she's an old lady. She, just, she, just, she just shouldn't have to help me. So I'm just going to do it myself. And you know what? Having four hands for this was really nice. Like, put it in a pole by yourself. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I think it would be a good idea for me to start adding stuff to help the concrete go further. You know, maybe I'm going a bit heavy on the filler. But in the end, this is technically an experiment. I don't plan this building to last a long time. So whenever we run into the issue next of this, like, I don't know, maybe a tree falls on it, then we can see about analyzing what I did wrong.
That's in there hard. That's not gonna budge. Um, no, is that, that concrete in it already? Yeah. That is a lot easier. Little old lady. Can I go there or something? Oh man guys, that's a lot to get done in one day. I am just, my brain is not working. I'm having a hard time telling for sure if the two end beams are the same height or not. Because the end beams are the ones that are shortest and all the other ones will be cut to the right height for that. And I'll probably get like a 50 foot long piece of um, clear tubing and use that to make sure I know the level I'll, I'll fill with water. I really love how parallel the posts were, are. I mean, it makes me really happy. And whenever I put my ladder at the end of the driveway and look down, they all lined up perfectly. I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of, um, I kind of focused on this part so much that I haven't really planned the next step. We're well, not really planned. I've, I haven't refined it to an executable solution quite yet. So. I'll see about, probably the next step to do is to put in those three posts and then get some of the cross pieces up and then cut all the tops of them 100% even. Then maybe run some boards around them to keep them all kind of the right way and maybe have the boards on the top that we can then put the, the trusses for the roof on and have the, the roofing and all that and you know I'll probably actually put the loft up there first so I can actually have a place to work, it'll be like a scaffolding. And I know it won't go all the way to the back, but I mean, it'd be interesting. It'd be helpful to have that, but I don't know. I'm gonna probably take like a week and a, or a week and a half off or more just to ask experts about it. And, and I don't mean like commenter experts. I mean like actual people 
who are actual experts, not like someone who's like an armchair construction worker. No offense, guys. You have a lot of good advice, but there's some idiots that don't have any advice, but they think they have advice. And, yeah, I'm probably going to take a step back for a little bit and make sure I'm doing everything fine and then come back to this and continue. And I think I probably won't have to buy too much wood after this point because I still have those two storage units just full of wood. I, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I'm not sure how to properly wrap up the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go take a nap. See ya. And a shower. Probably take a shower too. And get supper. And charge my electric bicycle. Or just take a nap and do that later.